Hello fellow readers, this latest book haul is to just give you a preview of all the stuff that I got at Book Expo America and all the surrounding events, so you see my face for now, and all you see is books after that. Okay, you see my legs kind of? Well, we're going to do a little rapid fire edition on my books from Book Expo America, uh, the Teen Author Carnival, the Random House Breakfast, and the Book Blogger Con. We'll begin with Beautiful Lies by Jessica Warman. Uh, this is a YA title. Uh, what do we have here? The Chocolate Money by Ashley Print Prentice Norton. This, I believe, was a buzz book. The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry by Rachel Joyce. Unsaid by Neil Abramson. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have put this on here, but Best Sex Writing 2012. <laughs> yeah, I should probably not do those type of titles on here. Does This Church Make Me Look Fat by Rhoda Jansen. Uh, this is the same woman who wrote Mennonite in a Little Black Dress. Uh, next we have Mistress of My Fate, book one of the Confessions of Henrietta Lightfoot by Haley Rubenhold and a signed copy of the paperback of Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sapitas. Next we have uh, The Break by P Pietro Grossi, Motherland by Amy Sohn, Then Came You by Jennifer Weiner, Heaven Should Fa Fall by Rebecca Coleman, Hemingway's Girl by Erica Roebuck. Fool by Frederick G. Dillon. The Claws by Brian Whiprod. I'm probably saying his name wrong. The Trinity Game by Sean Sharecover. Probably butchering yet another name. Uh, the Carnal Machine, Steampunk Erotica by D.L. King. And Out of the Easy by Ruta Sapitas. This is, I believe this one is set in New Orleans and it is another YA title. The List by Siobhan Vivian. Bells by Jen Kalanita, is that how you say your name? Cracked by Kim K.M. Walton. Horn by Stephanie Guerra. When It Happens to You by Molly Ringwald. Uh, In the Shadow of the Banyan by, how do you say this? Vaddy Hatner. Oh lord, my foot itches. Okay, gotta stop. Okay, back to the books. Tigers in Red Weather by Lisa Klossman. Liza Klossman, excuse me. Butchering Names. Gold by Chris Cleave. This is the same guy who wrote Little B. Uh, Porch Lights by Dorothea Benton Frank. The Shoemaker's Wife by Adriana Trigani. Uh, let's see what we have here. Summerlands by Elin Hildebrand. The Elephant Keeper's Children by Peter Hogue. Probably butchered a name. Schroeder by Amity Gage. Where'd You Go by Bernadette. Where oh, Where'd You Go, Bernadette? Excuse me. By Maria Semple. Butchering name. Kept by Son Pre Gray. Skinny by Deborah. Excuse me, Donna Cooner. Colin Fisher by Ashley Edward Miller and Zach Stentz. And The Yellow Birds by Kevin Powell. Next set, Al uh, And She Was by Allison Galen. Tattooed by Pamela Callow. Frozen by Mary Casanova. This one looks good, it's a YA title. The End of Your Book Life Book Club by William Sh Schwalbe. Let's 
see. The Sweet Dead Life by Joy Preble. Next we have Next to Love by Ellen Feldman. One Last Thing Before I Go by Jonathan Tropper. Let's see what we have next. Oh, I forget I have titles like this in here. Vagina by Naomi Wolf. There are certain titles I probably won't review on the blog, but I think I might. This one is, um, I guess it's a biography of the JJ. Yes, I said JJ. Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward. Oh, what's this one? Wrong way. This one is... Trust Your Eyes by Linwood Barclay. And let's see, yeah, this is kind of a, it's hard to show here. A paperback copy of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And I think, believe a preview chapter of the second book in the series, Days of, Days of Blood and Starlight. The cover looks cool. Uh, Economics, How Our Economy Works and Doesn't Work, clearly it doesn't, by Michael Goodwin. Let's Pretend This Never Happened by Jenny Lawson. WordPress for Dummies. I guess this will come in handy if I ever switch to WordPress. This one is uh, Life After Death by Damien Eccles. Uh, I believe he's one of the West Memphis Three. He's now... Uh, look up the case, you'll know about it. Uh, Life in Pictures by Laura Lamont. Now, I can't believe these two wrote a book together. They just don't seem to go together. America, You Sexy Bitch by Michael Ian Black and Megan McCain. I just missed the signing, but I was able to get a book. A Queer and Pleasant Danger by Kate Borstein. The uh, Istanbul Passage by Joseph Kanan. And... Wife 22 by Melanie Gideon. Okay, on for the next set of books. And no, you are not seeing things. I did have a second copy of Jennifer Weiner's book, Then Came You. Except this one is signed, so I'll have to give away the other one. Let's see what we have here. Unforgiven by B.J. Daniel. Spring Fever by Mary Kay Andrews. Wings of the Wicked by Courtney Allison Moulton, which means I will not have to get book two. Book one, excuse me, because that's book two. Uh, Dearly Departed by Leah Habel. Uh, Ash and Winter by Mike Mullen. Let's see what we have here. This one is Don't Turn Around by Michelle Gagnon, and I think it's a cool promotion. It's like you can put your e-reader in this. The book is in there, but that's cool. A paperback of The Passage by Justin Cronin. The sequel of The Twelve by Justin Cronin. Which means I should get on that and read book one, but probably no time soon. The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend by Matthew Dix. This one I was so glad to get. The Miseducation of Ken Post by Emily N. Danforth. Those We Love Most by Lee Woodruff. Heron's Cove by Carla Neggers. Live by Night by Dennis Lehane. The Iron Witch by Karen Mahoney. Some of these books came in like giveaway bags or didn't know I had a lot of paranormal stuff. Narc by Krista Jean Chappelle. Winter Bell, Winter White, which is a Bell's novel by Jen Kalanita. Um, the Goddess Test by Amy Carter. They Disappeared by Rick Mafina. Uh, okay, Best Erotic Romance. Doesn't need any explanation. A Deeper Darkness by J.T. Ellison. And the highlight of the week, Rather Outspoken by Dan Rowe. Okay, and now for our final round of books. The Prophet by Michael Cortia. Fate, Love, Tears by Lauren Bishop. Fathomless by Jackson Pierce. 
the farm by Emily McKay. Uh, Black Fridays by Michael Sears. Carnival uh, for the Dead by David Hewson. Uh, what's this one called? Oh, Brain on Fire by Susanna Callahan. That one's a memoir, I believe. Uh, Pushing the Limits by Kate McGeary. Another YA title. I didn't realize how much YA books I got this year. Return to Me by Justina Chen. Honey on Your Mind by Marina, Maria Murnan. Uh, this is the third book in her series, I believe. Um, I read another one of her books. I just it, it escapes my mind now, but I have to look back. Uh, Unaccountable by Marty McCary. What hospitals won't tell you and how transpar transparency can revolutionize healthcare. Sounds interesting. The Atria International Book of Mysteries. I believe this is an anthology. It's got several authors. Uh, the St. Zeta Society by Ruth Rendell. Uh, Pines by Blake Crouch. Uh, what's next here? Uh, the Giving Quilt by Jennifer Shiverini. I hope that's how you say your name. Uh, what's Left of Me by Kat Zhang. See, isn't that cover cool? Totally cool. The Rent Collector. This is uh, by Cameron Wright. I believe it's kind of similar to The Book Thief, but it takes place in Africa. Uh, Never Fall Down by Patricia McCormick. And Big Maria by Johnny Shaw. And finally, another thick book. My Chinese Dream from Red Guard to CEO by Lu Ping.